Harvest was put on hold in some areas of the state as the week began. Storms dumped significant amounts of rain, especially in northeast Nebraska, where two to three inches fell. As Lowell Sandell said when we talked Tuesday, that could lend much more help to winter weed growth than the lack of precipitation experienced last year. The drought of 2012, uh, we had very dry conditions uh, during the winter annual uh, germination period. So on a relative basis, I think our, our populations of winter annuals in 2013 was relatively low. Um, but, you know, we've had plenty of rain here uh, this fall and we're seeing quite a bit of henbit and mare's tail germination uh, occurring right now. Compare mare's tail from what it was last year, what you kind of saw in the fields and what it could be like going forward. Yeah, you know, mare's tail is one of those that it, sometimes it's a little hard to really define it. Um, as a winter annual or summer annual here in Nebraska, uh, we have data that suggests it's still primarily a, a, um, a fall emerger. Uh, you talk to some folks in other areas in the Midwest and it's, it can you know, emerge throughout the spring and summer. Um, but that being said, um, uh, we're seeing quite a bit of mare's tail germination here uh, this fall and uh, taking steps to uh, control that here this fall probably pay dividends in 2014. You know, if based on if you don't know maybe necessarily what you're going to put in next year, what are some things that might help you control that or what are your options there for treatment? Yeah, uh, a, a lot we consider a lot of the, or most of the mare's tail in the state in production fields to probably be glyphosate resistant. Um, we do think that the inclusion of or use of 2,4-D and or dicamba in fall applications is pretty important for adequate control. Um, if growers want to uh, tank mix or use other modes of action um, and keep the rotation options open, uh, they could tank mix uh, either Sharpen or uh, Sencor uh, with that uh, here in, in the fall and get um, a little bit of residual uh, along with the um, uh, good control from, from 2,4-D. What are some things that you could be seeing from the combine uh, as you make your way through the field, possibly some water hemp? What else could be out there that you might make note of? Yeah, so we, we really encourage folks to kind of scout uh, with the combine. Uh, you're seeing where uh, some problems may have occurred this year with species like water hemp or Palmer amaranth um, and, and some of those. And right now is a great time to uh, start thinking about 2014 uh, weed control. Uh, if there were some problems with, uh, with water hemp, I know we've gotten a lot of questions on that. Uh, thinking about a diversified program for 2014, um, right now is a, a great time to, to start thinking about that as the combines are going through the field. So you mentioned that uh, some of these weeds have gotten a good jump. We have a lot more moisture than we had last year. You can probably yep. notice it in some of the fields as we're out here today. Uh, what does your data suggest as to when these, wields, or when, when these weeds will be up in the field and when you need to start controlling them by? Yeah, uh, that's a great question. Um, you know, our, some of our data on emergence would suggest that uh, about November 1, most of what's going to come up uh, will have come up at that point. And targeting uh, fall applications, uh, real late October or throughout the first half of November, maybe even in, into the end of November if weather conditions are good, uh, is probably about the, the, the best time to control or make uh, fall applications for winter annual weeds.